Hello everyone. I'm here today with a new process video. I'm still working on my photos from Munich, Germany. And so that album is a six by eight pocket page album. And with this one, I actually have all of the main things picked out already. I have all the photos and on this one, I'm only going to have one journaling card. And I knew I wanted to use this one because it says Germany travelogue and has the little colors of the German flag there. And so I thought, well, that's perfect, right? And the rest of it is black, which goes with everything. And then it has kind of this off white cream color, which matches the building and the archway here. So I think I'm set on that front. Now, the story on this one is my friend and I had gone back to our hotel late afternoon. We'd been out exploring all day, very tired, very hot and took a break, showered and then thought, okay, well now what, what are we going to do for dinner? And we knew there was a botanical garden close by. So we got on our phones and tried to map it a little bit. And we figured out, hey, you know, it's it's walking distance. We could do that. So these photos are from when we were walking out in the city on our way there. And then when we walked up and saw, yep, we're in the right place and got our first look at the beautiful flowers that were in the garden. Looking at all the photos, I know that I want to add in some red and some yellow because I have a little bit of yellow here. I have it here in the flowers, a little bit here as well. And then these pops of red, little bit of red here. So I think the red will need to be on this side. I'm just not exactly sure how to incorporate that yet. And yellow could be either, but maybe up here somewhere because the archway is beautiful and everything, but this is the part, you know, that you read. Well, if you read German, so I could put something down here and it wouldn't hurt anything. So I think that's what I'm going to do there. Then I also noticed I have this big open area of sky here. I could stamp there. Now, the only problem is I had these printed in glossy. And normally when I stamp directly on a photo, I would use matte finish just because it makes the ink adhere better. I do have stays on ink that in theory should work on here. However, I have noticed that when you have glossy paper, even with stays on, it can slip a little bit. I think I'm going to try it anyway. If I goof it up, I can always reprint one and try it again or go a different way with it. But I think I am going to try stamping right there. And what did I do with my stamps? Here they are. This is what I think I'm going to use is this word right here that says explore. It has a nice font there and it's very well sized to that space. So I think that's the one I'm going to use. And this set is the summer stamp set from Felicity Jane 2017. So I've had this one a while. So just to get it over with, I think I'm going to do the stamping first. <laughs> I'm slightly intimidated. So I kind of just want to see, is it going to work or not? So I did some testing here and I had two black stays on and I couldn't remember which was the good one and which one was the way, the one on the way out. Well, I figured that out really quickly. So that one got chucked in the garbage. The other problem is, is that my stamping area is in our lower level slash basement and it does get fairly cold in here in the winter, even though I'm right next to the furnace. So I always worry about, you know, is that cold going to affect the ink? It doesn't appear, appear that it has on this newer one. It seems like it's doing okay. Now this stamp is still fairly new. I think maybe I've only used it once or twice before. So I can tell I probably should have primed it better. It sticks to the ink pad a little bit, but I think it'll be It'll be fine. All right, the moment of truth. All right. I want to make sure I get it on camera there. All right, so I'm going to line it up as best I can and go for it. I do want to press it in pretty well. It doesn't feel like it's shifted, but I want to press it in well to make sure I get good coverage with that ink. And then release. <gasps> Yay! It trails off a little bit right there, but that's okay. I don't mind that at all. So I am pleased with that and I'm going to leave that one. One thing I forgot to mention is that if you've never used stays on ink before, this is what the outside looks like there. It is made for odd surfaces like porcelain, glass, glossy photos, things that are slick. So the point is, is to hopefully not have it smear. So that's why you would want to use that. The other thing is that when you use it on your stamps, it will stain, particularly the black. 
it does not impact the image at all. It will still stamp just as beautifully, but just don't panic if it does stain the surface of the stamp. Since I wanted to pull in both yellow and red, I went into my stash of phrase labels that I have. And I have some that are just specific to country. They're digital files that I bought and printed just for this album. And I found this one. So it says Germany and it's in red. I know I have Germany there already, but I think I can work it in somewhere and it'll be fine. And then I went into my generic phrases and I found this one that says destination. The yellow isn't quite the same. This is more of a gold tone, but I still think it's close enough that I can get it to work because it's almost the same tone as that. So I'm going to play around and figure out where those are going to go and then I'll be back. I cut off the ends of this label and I think I'm going to use it right there like that. And then I took this one that says Germany and I put two foam dots on it. I actually it's one and I cut it in half so that when I apply it, it'll be raised. And my plan is to put it right there. And then I also went back into my stash and found this one. And I like it that it says this is the story and it's green. It's not the exact green, but it's green enough, I think. And I want to put it right here, I think. That still gives me plenty of room to journal. And I may even find something to tuck behind there that's that's fun. Maybe I have some little element that's Germany related. I don't know. That's my plan for that stuff. Then I also decided that I didn't like this part of the sign that was peeking out there. But luckily it's circular. And so I went into my stash. I have a bunch of these that are from a digital file pack I bought that come in like 20 different colors. And I just print them and punch them out. And I think I'm going to overlap that part with this cut off the remaining part and then probably stamp or put something maybe a little acrylic piece or something in here but that will cover that up plus it will bring the red into this side a little bit more so I'm going to do all of those things and then I'll be back again everything is adhered down now except the stars I just pulled those out of my stash I always have a ton of extra little hearts and stars lying around and you can see part of the package up there and I figured, okay, well, then I'm bringing in that yellow. And then this is a muted yellow with dots. So it brings in a pattern as well. And then the red isn't quite so in your face. So I'm going to put those there. And then I think I need to decide something for these photos. I have the stars down now. And then a while ago, I bought some travel chipboard elements from Allie Edwards. And this is one of the little pieces. There were several of these. And I thought it might be cute if I just put it right down there because that was our destination. That's what we were looking for. This stuff was kind of bonus and cool, but this is what we were looking for that evening. So if I put that there, like, yay, we made it, we found it, and this, isn't it gorgeous? I think maybe that would work here. When I was looking at the layout, I wasn't sure if it was done or not. And then I thought, I wonder if I have another one of these stars to bring that element into this side, plus grab a little bit more of that muted yellow. And I did find one. However, it's much bigger than this one, which isn't quite what I was thinking. But I'm going to see if I can tuck it behind there. I did put just a little tail in there, but I haven't adhered it. And I think it looks okay. And so I may just do that, and then this one might be done. I did adhere this, the star, and you may notice there's a tad bit hanging off the edge. Normally I would clip that off, but I kind of like that it's hanging off the edge a little bit like that. And I think there's enough room, enough wiggle room in that pocket that I could get it in there and leave it that way. So I am going to. And with that, this one is done. I'll do my journaling off camera, but otherwise the layout is finished. Thanks for watching everyone.